Hi everyone, it's Bob Butler, Pole Life Systems for your 60 second update. Today I want to talk about why poles are going bad at the tops. It's the change of the treatments. When the treatment of preservatives in poles changed in the 1970s. Around 1975 we stopped using the mainly creosote poles which were everywhere. Creosote poles today are still good, even from the 1960s they're out there. However, when we changed the preservatives, meaning the industry changed due to in 1970 we had the cancer scare with the creosote and things like that. So in around 1975, in the southeast at least, we started going to the pentapole, which is a treated with a pentachlorophenol, so and the industry calls them pentapoles. Today you'll know they're the ones that are the grayish color on top. They leach, the preservatives leach down towards the bottom and they're darker brown on the bottom four or five feet high. We noticed the first pole top decays system wide around 2011. The reason for that date was in 1975 when we started using the Pentas, they hit 36 years old in 2011 in the Florida region. That's when the failure started. Today, all pentapoles in the southeast United States are bad at the tops. Any of them that were installed in the 1970s, from 75 to 1980, all pentapoles at tops will be decayed or at least hollowed out. You won't know it until you look down in them. Here's an example of a 1978. So this is a 42-year-old pole and you can see the top is totally decayed. Originally the pole top was about right here. So it's decayed downward due to be no preservatives left. And that's a major problem in the industry because there is no strength left in the top of the poles. We have our primary up there that doesn't meet any NESC guidelines anymore. I have some photos let me show you of the problems in the field. As you see with those photos, the insulator is being totally torn out of the pole by the conductor. The weight of the conductor will lift the pole up on a post top and it just rips through the remainder of the wood so there's no strength there. Same thing with your pin tops. If you look at the photos. You'll see the top bolt is going to fail first due to the rot getting to it. So the whole pin top wants to shift, which means you have no structural strength left in the top of your poles. What our products do is we supply that structural strength back to the tops of the pole. We attach right on over the existing bolts. Why we invented this product, you can slide up to the post insulator, same thing with your double dead ends, same thing you flip it over, use the longer slot for your pin tops. You have a very simple way of making it work. That's why this whole system is installed in 20 minutes on average. Look at our website, polelifesystems.com. Thanks for tuning in.